Breaking news, 30,000 city workers in Chicago now being told you must get the COVID-19 vaccine. CBS 2's Suzanne Lemonio live at City Hall with what this means. Suzanne. Erica, Brad, what it means is that by October 15th, all city employees must be fully vaccinated. But what's still not clear is what happens to them if they don't do it. Mayor Lightfoot made the mandate very clear in this tweet, saying we must take every step necessary and at our disposal to keep everyone in our city safe and healthy. That's why all City of Chicago employees are required to be fully vaccinated, effective October 15th. Get your vax, folks. The mandate applies to more than 30,000 city workers, among them police officers. Their union opposes the mandate. The pathway has been cleared for companies to legally mandate it is a really big issue. Andy Challenger is with Challenger Gray and Christmas, a career coaching firm. He says the mandate is starting to look like the norm. In the last two or three weeks, a number of large Fortune 100 companies announced that they're going to mandate uh, the vaccine for their employees or ask them to take a COVID test each week before they come into the office. About 15,000 Union City employees fall under the Chicago Federation of labor umbrella. Among those, the union represents teachers, laborers, and firefighters. The union issued a statement that says in part, we believe in the benefits of vaccination to help protect workers and residents, but we do not believe punitive mandates are the right path to significantly increase vaccine uptake. In fact, we believe this announcement may harden opposition to the vaccine. Challenger says many companies are taking different approaches for those who don't comply with the COVID-19 vaccine mandate. You either show us your vaccine cards or you're going to have to be regularly tested. Now, again, the mayor's announcement does not say what is going to happen to city workers who refuse to get vaccinated. We asked specifically that question to the mayor's office. We were told today's information is preliminary and there is more to come. At City Hall, Suzanne Lemonio, CBS 2 News.